All right, D-Day. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> All right, boys, end of October, and we're gonna try to get this little eight-foot hydro in the water today. We'll see. Uh, it started in the garage, and I don't know what's gonna happen. Hopefully it'll be amazing and live up to expectations, but my expectations are not very high. I just want to get it on the water and ride it around a little bit and we can tune it next season. So let's see what she does. Let's see the fancy interior. Should we have the tools over here? Yeah, I think so. Getting ready. We're ready. It is uh, the end of October, and I'm gonna go rip on this thing. <laughs> oh yeah. It's got a Chris in it. Uh, we don't. Normally we have champagne, but um, we're not breaking glass in the lake either. So yeah, and it's it's cold, so we're going with some Fireball. <sighs> there you go. Do you want me to turn it to a frame more? No, that one's gone. Okay. And your thing's connected, your red thing. Yep. Do you have it clipped to you somehow? No, I don't, but I don't know how to do that. Maybe I'll do this for this now. For now, yeah. The only way we've had this ever start was with a throttle pin. It's not true. Yes, it is. I wedged it open with a screwdriver. Oh. You know what I'm talking about. You can say it if you don't know. I'm holding it in my hand. I just want you to keep it where it is. Okay. Like here? Yep. All right, we're calling it, won't start. I don't know, I mean, I don't really know what the hell I'm doing. So like, there's no manual or like anything on these carbs that I can find on the internet for default settings. So someone said that the screws should be screwed in until they touch and then unscrew them one and a half turns each. And yeah, that, that worked when it was, uh, 
out of the water and without a lower unit, but I think what we were battling with was to get the engine spun up fast enough to run, there's no neutral, so you have to spin the prop as well. And so I talked to uh, one of my buddies, thanks Mike, but he was saying that sometimes people will start them with the gear case out of the water, rev them a little bit, and then drop them into the water. Um, we're just unable to do that. The steering won't let me tilt it out of the water, and Sarah's too weak to <laughs> hold it out of the water. Um, the other thing people can do is two guys can lift the back of the boat so that the prop's out of the water and they can start it like that, but I, I can't do that either. So I don't know. I, I guess I'm just, uh, this is as far as we got this year. The boat is in the water. Look at that. It floats. It floats. You even floated around on it a little bit. Yeah, I think my top speed was about 0.2 miles an hour. <laughs> and we went for a distance of, I would say like 10 feet, feet, 10 feet. <laughs> So, Woo! <laughs> I don't know when this thing was last in the water, but uh, at least it looks cool, I guess. And maybe next year we will have better luck with this. I am very excited about it. It looks cool. Just uh, needs to start. It's not start. And this is October 27th. It is. What, what is it, 50 degrees? Yeah, 52. 52, <laughs> yeah. So pretty chilly. It's colder than that in this water. I don't even want to know what the water temperature is. My wetsuit does not cover my feet. <laughs> yeah. You got monster feet, so she's losing a lot of heat. <laughs> yeah. That's gross. It looks like the exhaust gasket. Or, I don't even know, man. This gasket. It's leaking out of pretty much every gasket. 